somebody in the 90s took like their kid to go see this movie <laughs> and when they walked out they said and that's why you fucking don't do drugs <laughs> yeah 100 percent. are you kidding me yeah you know that was the worst piece of shit movie and that's what hollywood's turning into because everybody's getting fucked up up there yeah it's beautiful actually <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of yeah it's poetic <laughs> because it is i think like anti like stop like go enjoy a movie every now and then but like don't get obsessed with this culture yeah i'm telling you like these people are not good and like don't get obsessed with like actual killers that have done horrible things like stop idolizing them stop obviously we haven't learned our lesson you go on netflix they have a whole oh god section of murder documentaries on like real stuff and damn it i mean i just watched one like two weeks ago what was it about <laughs> some guy that, like fucking killed his wife classic nice yeah just the classic murder story because all of but it's so yeah I was going to say Oliver Stone picked the movie up because during this time was when OJ was in trial and he said literally he every it, yeah. single channel had it on. It's like, okay. Everybody well, was talking about OJ. Yeah, all the time. Me- because of OJ, we have the Kardashians, by the way. Yep. Never forget. Never forget. So if you thought, oh, wow, it probably can't get any worse than this. Well, it did. And you, th- you think, okay, well, like, I'm why is- I'm pissed now. <laughs> <laughs> you think like, okay, well, why is it dark that they were showing this trial? Everybody's curious about this guy that killed his wife. So let's see like what's going on. But it's because there was so much money made during that because advertisements were playing on every single channel. When people were tuning in to see OJ, the company that was playing it made so much money. So like they're exploiting this horrible thing that happened, this murder, blasting it out to everybody. And think about the people that actually were affected by it. They have to see it every fucking day. Yeah. They can't move on. And then all these corporations are just making a fuck ton of money off of the horrible tragedy that happened. Yeah. And it looked like kind of at the end with that montage when they were showing OJ, like they were also hinting, it was kind of somebody like flipping through the channels, I think is what they were going for. And it just, you know, it sucks because nobody wants to watch somebody give a speech on, you know, some, somebody did something good for the world and they're giving a speech on it. You would rather watch the O.J. Simpson case. Like right. You would rather skip over like a Nobel award-winning person that's done good for the world. That's probably going to make a real positive change. But no, I got to see what O.J.'s up to. 